Okay, so continuing on in this lesson, we're going to lay out the user interface for the game. We're going to set up the data binding. We've already collected a lot of data. Now it's time to, uh, to connect it to a grid view uh, and the data template and each individual item. Uh, make it clickable. We'll come back to that part. And then to basically just do initial game setup. So uh, the game will be playable by the end of this video, but we'll be in really good shape to actually start the game logic like scoring and countdown in the next video. All right, so uh, let us get started now. The, where I left off in the previous video was that uh, there was an issue uh, and it wouldn't compile and or it wouldn't run I don't remember which but the issue is easy basically all I need to do is this I, I didn't new up uh, songs so that's why it croaked but if I add that and create a new instance of observable collection now we should be able to run the application and while we won't see much behind the scenes it should be going out and grabbing all of the uh, all of the files All of the files and um, uh, grabbing off all of the metadata and then creating new instances of the song class and um, making those available to the rest of our app. Again, not a whole lot going on here, uh, unfortunately, but behind the scenes, there's a lot happening. Okay, but it's time to, to kind of rectify that. And so to get started with this, I'm going to open up mainpage.saml. And we're going to start laying out the pieces that we're going to need for this for this app. And so I'm going to start off by adding two rows. So there's going to be a first uh, row definition that will just be, uh, I think it's just going to house the countdown bar. We'll make it 100. And then the other row definition will just be uh, for the remainder of that space. Okay, and then we're going to add a stack panel, and this is going to be that first row where we're going to add a progress bar. And um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name because we're going to need to reference it um, programmatically. So name equals. And I'm going to set the maximum value to 100 and the minimum value to 0. And I'm going to set the current value to 100. So it'll be, uh, we're going to use it as a countdown. So it'll always start at 100 and then tick backwards. Uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and set the height of this to 20 and the foreground equal to blue. And again, I could really use some help with, from a graphic designer to make this look good. I'm also going to add uh, in that top area the um, instruction text block. So let me go ahead and give it that name, instruction text block. And this is going to tell the user what to do next. Hey, get ready because the, um, the next round is starting in 10, 9, 8 sort of thing. Okay, and I'm going to set the foreground equal to blue again there, and then the horizontal alignment I'll set to the uh, to center. And then I'm also going to go ahead and put the media element in here. It's not doesn't have a visual quality, but I'm going to go ahead and stick it there. And I'm going to set the autoplay equal to true. And I'm going to change this to capital M my progress bar. I go back and forth on what to name uh, the XAML elements because I'm not sure that they're public. I think they're more protect they're protected, uh, and so it's really a judgment call on what to, the naming convention to use there. Okay, so that's going to be for grid dot row equals zero, and let's put the second panel stack panel, and it's going to be uh, grid dot row equals one. And I'm going to set the orientation of this to, uh, to vertical, uh, which I don't know that I needed to do that, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. All right, and then the majority of this is going to be a grid view control. And let's go ahead and give the grid view the name of 
song grid view and I'm going to set the is item click enabled equals true. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and handle an item click event. Uh, I'm also going to um, set the item source items source equal to uh, what we created in the previous video the songs collection and that should be um, visible to our uh, to this main page.xaml did I make that private or yeah I made it private it still should be visible here though because they're in the same class right all right so let's uh, add an item template whoops uh, grid view dot item template and inside that item template we're going to add a data template and we're just going to add a simple grid with an image control uh, call this my image I should probably call this uh, album arts Uh, I'm going to make the height 75 and the width 75 because I happen to know that's the exact size of each of the uh, images that are used in the metadata for the MP3s since I created them myself or had a, a developer create them for me. All right, and I know that I'm I'm going to bind x bind to uh, a property of songs called album cover. Uh, let me double click, double check that just to make sure that is in fact the name. Yeah, album cover is the name of the property I want to bind to. So let me go ahead and do that. Like so. All right. And um, that should pretty much do it for the grid view itself. We'll come back and obviously have a lot to do there. Uh, but then I need a few text blocks to display things. So there's going to be one called the uh, result text block. That'll tell you if you got the answer right or wrong. Uh, there will be another text block called the title text block. This will show you what the, the correct uh, song title was in case you missed it. Uh, there will be an artist text block that will display the correct artist and then there will be a uh, album text block to tell you the album that the song that was playing uh, was performed on okay and then I know I'm gonna want another button in case you want to play again so I'm gonna call this play again button and the content will be uh, play again. I'll make the background of this red and uh, the horizontal alignment will just be in the center there. And uh, I'm going to set the visibility initially to collapsed because uh, I don't want to see it until we get into that state where the game is over and I want to ask, hey, do you want to want to try it again? And at uh, which point then we'll, we'll allow that to happen. So let me also add a clicked event here. And that should take care of that and get rid of the button click but I'm gonna need somewhere to put all of that code in the button click so I think what I'll do is actually put that in a page load event so um, loaded equals page loaded and let's go there and I'm gonna put all that code I cut uh, gonna put it there and then get rid of that Oh yeah, and then there's one last thing that I want to do here as well. Um, I have two rows. The second row will obviously take up the majority of the space there. What I want to do is um, we've already got a stack panel inside that row one, so the second row. Uh, and I'm going to add another grid. And I'm going to set its uh, grid.row equal to one. So it's going to sit in the same in the same um, row and a cell actually as the stack panel that I just created and all this is going to have is just a progress bar or actually actually sorry a progress ring 
and I'm going to call this uh, startup progress ring. And I'm going to set the horizontal alignment equal center and the vertical alignment equal center. And let's set the width equal to something nice and big like 200 and the height equals 200 like that. Actually that might be a little too big. Let's put that back to that and then let's go foreground we'll say gray. Good. Let me put all that on separate lines so it's easier to read. And the idea here is that since it's going to take some time to go through your entire music collection uh, as you start up the app, I want to um, throw the uh, display the progress ring and then uh, when it's finished with that operation, then I'll hide the progress ring. Okay. All right, so that should do it for layout, basic layout. We may have to come and tweak a few things, um, uh, margins and things of that nature, but I think we're pretty much in good shape to go. So uh, what I want to do is um, let me see here. Oh yeah. Let me fix that problem. Async. This will be just task like that. Okay. So when the page loads, we're going to do some of these some of these things here. In fact, um, now that I think about it a little bit, I might want to take some of the stuff and put it into its own helper method. So let's go uh, private. And I'm guessing I'm going to have to make this async task uh, called setup music list. And I'm going to go ahead and grab off. I think I'm just going to like perform just these steps right here. And actually, I think I'm going to have it return all songs so return all songs like that so we'll go async and we'll make this a task that will return all songs and all songs is an observable collection of storage file so that will set up the music list I feel good about that and we'll do something like this. Um, are all files, or eh, this is called all songs, right? All songs equals uh, setup music list. And we'll await that. Okay, that should work. And then I'm going to create another private helper method. So private async. And right now it'll be just, it won't return anything except a promise. Uh, prepare new game. And I guess I'm going to pluck off some of this stuff here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go uh, songs.clear. So this would allow me to say, hey, whatever the previous collection of songs were when we played it, uh, played the uh, played the game before in the last session, clear those songs out. So this will allow me to reuse this method to prepare a brand new game. Uh, then I'm going to grab random songs. Let me see. I might need to uh, grab that as well. Actually, I don't want to do that. Uh, let me think about this for a minute. I think what I want to do is cr make all songs a public, um, uh, a public collection like this, or rather, public to the class. So, uh, observable collection of storage file called all files like that. Okay, that makes me feel good actually. 
And so um, we'll just do this. Um, let's not call it all files, let's call it all songs. And then here we'll just use all songs because we only really need to get those songs one time but every time we want to play a new game we can just reuse that list of songs okay so that's kind of my thought process there all right um, and uh, probably we'll need to do some other things like some other state management here and we'll get to that later um, so back to page loaded okay I do all that to do this I'm gonna go a startup progress ring dot is active equals true then I'm going to um, set up the music list and then I'm going to await prepare new game and then I'm gonna call startup progress ring dot is active equals false great let's see if this actually works hmm oh so I forgot a couple things here See if this will even build. All right. It did not like something here. It has the wrong return type. All right. It does not like that I have put this here. So let's go ahead and rethink that a bit. Let's go private void here. And instead of putting all of this here, let's. Uh, I need to make sure that it, at the at a minimum the this grid is actually uh, ready for action. So on the grid itself, here I'm gonna get rid of this background. Uh, loaded equals. All right, and now we'll stick them in there. I think I can do this, and then. Async task. Uh, I should probably be able to do void there, right? All right, let's build it and see what happens. All right, so build went well. Oh my goodness, it worked. Look at that. How cool is that? All right, so we're able to data bind. Um, got some margin issues here at the top, and this doesn't do anything when we click on these items. Okay, but we're in we're in really good shape here. Um, I'm almost thinking that that's all I really wanted to accomplish. Let me add um, around this. Let's go margin uh, 20, 20, 20, 20. That should help that. Oh, did you notice the little, uh, uh, the, um, the progress ring popped up too. That's awesome. Okay. One other thing here I want to do with, um, my stack panel here. Yeah. Let's go put a margin equals 20 and that should just do for all sides. nice okay very good great all right so uh, that's pretty exciting um, we made a lot of progress here in a short amount of time so I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here and uh, we'll pick it back up in the next lesson